Hello, my lovely, wonderful people. I'm so excited to come your way again with another video. Thank you so much for always coming by to watch me. I appreciate it so very much. Well, it's not me you are coming to watch. You are coming to watch, you know, the content I'm creating for you and you're enjoying it. So I want to say thank you very, very much. I appreciate it so much. Guys, in this video, I'm talking about the Nigerian national football team, main national football team, Super Eagles. They are currently in Kigali, Rwanda, as they are preparing for the match against Rwanda tomorrow. And in this particular video, they are training in Kigali ahead of the clash. But before I get you details about it, it's very important I welcome you and I want to say thank you for coming. I appreciate the gesture. I thank you very much for the love and support. Thank you. If you are here for the first time, consider to subscribe to the channel. Press notification bell so that you don't miss out in my subsequent videos. And also help to share the video as much as you can if it is possible. Yes, I like to appreciate all my amazing subscribers, the new and the returning one, for your amazing support. Thank you very much. My friends, out there, I can't forget you. Thank you for the love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, watch the video to the end, give me thumbs up and share it if it is possible for you to do. Having said that, let's go into the gist, the reason why we are here at the moment. Nigerian Super Eagles completed their first training session in Kigali ahead of their crucial 2025 Africa Cup of Nations qualifier against Rwanda. The session took place today at 30,000 capacity stadium known as Ted Amahoru, the venue of tomorrow's game. The team is in high spirit after their 3-0 victory over the Republic uh, on Saturday, and they are keen to continue their strong form. Finger, fingers crossed. Guys, the training session was focused with head coach Austin Eguavon and his assistants drilling the squad on a tactical play and formations that will be crucial against Rwanda. And while speaking about the team's readiness, the coach, Eguavon, expressed confidence in his players, highlighting their versatility. versatility rather. He went further to say, we have the quality of players who can play different styles of football different systems and formations. So whatever formation we choose tomorrow, we have the personnel to execute it effectively. The interim coach, Austin Iguava, stated, Nigerians' victory over Benin Republic in Huyo came courtesy of two goals from Atlanta, Ademola, Lukman, and a strike from New Galastari, Sari Victor Osime. With the team in fine form, Super Eagles are looking to build on their successful start and secure another win in Kigali. <clears throat> the clash with Rwanda is an important feature for both sides. A win for Nigeria will put them on the brink of Africa Cup of Nations qualification, needing just two more victories to see their spot in the tournament. Rwanda, meanwhile, drew 1-1 with Libya in their opening match and will be hoping to boost their own chances with a win. Eguavon, the Eguavon, the coach, emphasized the importance of maintaining focus and not underestimating their opponents. You don't look down on anybody these days because football has improved. Yes, that is the truth. So when you joke with it, you can get shocked. But we will be uh, on our best. We will be at our best. He said, adding that Rwanda will be raising their game against a strong Nigerian side. And uh, they will be ready to give it their whole. And Nigeria are weary of this. And they know that uh, anything short of victory will not be good enough for Nigeria. So they cannot afford to underestimate their opponent, Rwanda. Every team is equally matched now. No team should be pushed aside. 
Okay, so they must go to the pitch with determination of purpose to get the three points and win the game or something. Or what do you think, friends? Are we on the same page as far as this is concerned? Do you think the Super Eagles have the quality to beat Rwanda in their home backyard? Let me know your thinking about it. Is it possible for Nigeria to win this game that will be played tomorrow? Let me know, guys. The coach has promised that they are not there to underestimate anything. They will be there with purpose and focus on the assignment. And the assignment is simple. Go to the field, play your best, and win the game. All right. That's all I have to share with you guys at the moment. If you have watched this video to this moment, I want to salute you and I want to say thank you very, very much. If you are here to subscribe, what are you waiting for? Consider to subscribe to the channel and the press notification bell so that you don't miss out in my subsequent videos. One more time, thank you everyone for your love and support on this channel. Guys, that's all about I've come to share with you. Nigeria will be taking on Rwanda tomorrow in AFCON 2025 qualifying qualifiers. Thank you, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.